you But I don't know how Cause every time I bump right into you I get all tongue tied Want you to know me But I'm way too shy I can't just go around admitting that it's you I like I wish that I had guts enough to flirt a little But I'm too scared I'll fail I wish that I could listen to the voice inside me A voice that always says Give it a go This portion of today's video is sponsored by Vivor Vivor sent me over their teak shower bench it's 20 inches. It's also waterproof. It's a wood shower stool with storage shelf, non-slip foot pads, and it holds up to 400 pounds. It's for the bathroom, indoor, and outdoor use. And the reason it's for indoor and outdoor use in the bathroom is because it's waterproof, y'all. So this stool can be used so many different ways. We're actually using it for my mom. My mom has a stool in her bathroom currently. It is not waterproof and she cannot put it into the shower. And it's also big and bulky. So I'm so, so happy that Vivor decided to send this stool over to me. It came in the perfect timing for me so that once that day comes when my mom is not able to stand up and take her shower, she'll be able to sit right down because she can go ahead and just put this shower chair right in the shower and use it while sitting down. Currently, she's able to stand up and take her showers. However, once she gets out of the shower, she's usually pretty exhausted, so she'll need to sit down and take a breather. And I love how compact this stool is and also the fact that it's so durable because you wanna make sure that she's safe when she sits down on this shower chair. Mom just stepped in to say hello to y'all because she brought me some tea. She hasn't seen y'all in a while. Y'all, V4 has some really, really good products. So if you're in the market for any of these products, please check their website out. If you have a stool, and you can actually use this as a nightstand as well. So there's many different ways you can use it. And y'all, it really didn't take me long at all to put this together. I love the results of it. And y'all, this is how it turned out. It is really, really such a nice bench. It really is. It's so durable and it's very well made. I can promise you that. And I'm just trying to show you all of the different views and all the different ways that you can see the different angles of it. But yes, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. And not only that, it's one of those things that you can definitely, definitely use and you can use for many, many years to come. So I did go ahead and place it in my mom's bathroom. You're gonna see here where I did go ahead and take away the old bench and end with the new bench. Y'all, it looks wonderful and it fits perfectly in this space. So thank you again so much Vivor for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to head to their website and check it out. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Y'all, today's video, we have so much going on. So we're gonna go ahead and start in the kitchen, y'all. The kitchen is a complete disaster. Well, it's not as bad as it has been in the past, but it's pretty bad. So we're gonna go ahead and get it all cleaned up. 
But if this is your first time stopping by my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Taryn and I do hope that you enjoy my content just enough and click that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I would definitely love to have you. And also, if you do decide to subscribe to my channel, please leave me a comment letting me know that you're here. I always love welcoming everybody that's new to my channel and I always want to let you know how important and how awesome you are and how much you mean to me. To all of my ride or dies, to all of my subscribers that always, always show up for me no matter what, no matter what's going on, you show up for me, you defend me, whatever it is, you are always there for me. You know who you are. You don't unsubscribe because you're upset about something I did. You know, little things like that. <laughs> So you know who you are, y'all. Y'all know how much I appreciate y'all. You know, y'all know how much I love y'all. I love each and every one of y'all to the moon and back. And I appreciate y'all for being here for me each and every time I upload a new video. So y'all, each and every time you see me cleaning, I do not care what I'm cleaning in, you're always going to see something on my feet. And most of the time, it's not just socks. And let me tell you why. Since I was a little girl, my mom told me, she's like, you did not want me putting you down because you did not want anything touching your feet. So I am very, very, very particular about things touching my feet. Now, don't get me wrong. We don't have the type of floors that you can eat off of our floors. Oh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't recommend that. However, <laughs> even if they were, even if I were to go into someone's house and they required me not to wear shoes, I would have to put something on my feet, something, or I just wouldn't be able to go in because I just cannot stand for any floors or anything like that to touch my feet. It's really, really weird, y'all, and I'm really, really different. So, yes, and I've been meaning to tell y'all that, but I finally got around to telling you, so you would never see me walking bare feet in the house, walking bare feet anywhere. I cannot stand it. My feet have to have something on them. Yes, let me know down in the comments. Am I the only one that's a little different like that? I'm just curious. Okay, so y'all, I did take the Dawn Power Wash. I'm so sorry, y'all. My throat is bothering me, so I may sound a little hoarse. Anyway, I did take the Dawn Power Wash to spray in the sink to get the sink cleaned out before I start to do the clean the dishes i just wanted to tell y'all real quick y'all why have i been buying the dawn power wash placements to refill those i have no business doing that and you don't either there is a way to do that it's a hack and i finally found it and i finally did it so i did go ahead and refill it because i was like oh my gosh i'm almost out of the dawn power wash but I was like, I know I've seen somewhere where there's a hack where you can make your Dawn Power Wash yourself. And it's so easy, y'all. All you need is the liquid Dawn, that big bottle that I just used. Yes, just get you a small bottle if you want to. I always buy it by the big bottle because I use that to, to wash my dishes with. All you need is the Dawn soap, liquid soap. You also need alcohol and you need hot water or warm water 
That's it. And you can fill that right back up without having to buy that and replace that. I'm like, where have I been? Y'all, I am learning so many things of ways that you can save and not spend your coins on something that is replaceable without having to buy it. (sighs) Y'all, and if you know something, please let me know. Because y'all going to have to keep your sis in line. Y'all know she is on a struggle bus. She don't have a clue. And y'all, I know y'all younger than me, but teach me. So yes, y'all, I do have quite a few dishes to wash. So we're going to go ahead and hand wash these dishes. I'm not going to load the dishwasher because as you saw at the beginning, I was already unloading the dishwasher so we're not going to load the dishwasher again we're going to go ahead and get everything hand washed and i don't mind hand washing dishes y'all it's pretty relaxing to me to go ahead and hand wash dishes and that's sometimes y'all not all the time not all the time And if you've been here for a while, y'all know I always try to turn my silverware up that upside down whenever I'm laying them to dry on the dry mat. That will keep the water stains from settling inside the spoons, the forks, whatever. I just started doing it with everything. Of course, you can't do it with like the butter knives or anything like that. But whatever you can, that will keep that water from settling there and you get that little ring and it makes you feel like the silverware isn't clean. You know it's clean because you hand washed it. Now, you can't say it's clean when you put it in a dishwasher, but you can always say it's clean when you hand washed it, at least most of us. <laughs> That's what I find. And I've shared this on my video before, so I just like to let y'all know every now and then what I'm doing and why I'm doing it so that you can understand and make it make sense because that's how I like to do things. But yeah, y'all, I always have a bunch of silverware to wash. I don't know why. Um, and it's just my mom and I. <laughs> We always have so much silverware to wash, y'all. We go through a lot of silverware. And I think because I would switch something in a minute. Like, I need to have a spoon for certain things. I need to have a fork for certain things. The fork needs to be a certain size. My mom is like, girl, I don't know where I get you from. But you know what? She created this little monster. She created me this way. So she shouldn't even get upset. But that's why I am like that. And I normally try to hand wash my pots, y'all, no matter what. And these pots here, I love these pots so, so, so much. These pots were actually gifted to me by Caraway. And y'all, I love them so, so much. But they're getting a little burnt at the bottom. And that's probably because of my little raggedy stove. But yeah, hey, y'all, what, what can we do about that? It has nothing to do with the pots. The pots are great pots. Oh, baby, and I know y'all see my mouth moving. I'm talking to my mom. I'm always talking to my mom. I'm either talking to her or talking to Carmelo or talking to her about Carmelo. But either way, we're talking. So that's what you see going on here. I just wanted to let y'all know. And y'all, these baking pans that I have, they are completely, completely trash. I don't even know why we still use them. My mom does most of the cooking and y'all know old school cooks, they don't really care. They just make it work. But 
if I really, really had the opportunity to care away, if you're listening, y'all can y'all can go ahead and send me over those some of those bacon wear because I love y'all bacon wear so so much. Anyway, we have made it to the microwave, y'all, and the microwave, it's a mess. Yeah, it really it's a mess, and there's so many crumbs and everything in here. Now, what I've started doing is actually taking my vacuum to vacuum up the crumbs. I didn't do it in the microwave, but you will see once I get to the stove, I did do it there. But just look at these crumbs, y'all. Look at these crumbs in this microwave. So I have to get the crumbs up first before I spray it, and that's why I do it this way, because if not, all you're gonna be doing is moving the crumbs all around. So that's what I started doing. This is my holy grail, y'all. The Method Heavy Duty Degreaser, y'all, it works like a charm, especially in the kitchen. So you'll see me using that quite a bit, especially on the cabinets, anything like that that you're wiping down where there's grease, even the countertops, it doesn't matter. It gets it all up for you. It gets it nice and clean and it smells very, very good. So I love it because it's like a lemongrass central nail scent so yeah i love it so so much And y'all, our microwave was so filthy, but guess what? I get so much joy from cleaning it out. I don't know what it is. It's just, it just makes me feel so warm and fuzzy inside when I get to look back at it and see how clean I got it. Yes, even though it won't last for long, but it's clean for now. <laughs> hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's day two y'all i have so much to get done so i'm doing something different i'm trying to film after i get off from work so of course it i lose light pretty early so i have to go ahead and get started the minute i get off from work so that's what we're doing you've already saw that i have had to put in a load of laundry but we're back in the kitchen we have to finish up because i didn't finish yesterday and that's because the time got away from me and you know when you're trying to clean after work you can only get done what you can get done so let's go ahead and dive right back into the video And y'all, anytime I'm cleaning off the countertops or any area, you will always see me clear everything off first. That's just the way it works for me. Like I can't spray round it, pick it up, wipe up under it. I mean, I wish I could do it that way. It looks so much easier. And maybe I don't do it that way because I don't clean as often as I should. That could be it. But just let me know down in the comment section. <laughs> I mean, I'll take any, any helpful advice. I really do. I don't mind it at all. It does not bother me as long as it's constructive criticism. 
I mean, there's a way to talk with to talk to someone, y'all. Y'all don't have to be mean, but I'm just saying, like, just give me some constructive criticism. Which, if you're subscribed to my channel, I already know you do that. It's just sometimes people will come in and they can be a little mean. But yeah, over here, y'all, I try to keep it as pleasant as possible. I am trying, I always try to be as nice as possible. Like I said, I am not perfect and I'm not one that will ever be perfect. All I can do is the best that I can do. And I am a person that learns. So it doesn't matter what age you are. You can see that I'm pretty seasoned when it come down, comes down to my age, but there's nothing wrong with learning from people that are much younger than you. There's nothing at all wrong with that because apparently they got it right. I didn't get it right. So that's what I'm trying to do. So I don't mind constructive criticism at all. And yes, I just try to make sure that we keep it nice and we keep, we stay very kind over here. That's just what I want to present. I want us to be a nice, we want to keep each other company in a very nice way. Much freaking passion, why we never got it back, babe? So y'all, we are thoroughly, thoroughly giving this kitchen a very, very deep and good cleaning. It is the end of the year, y'all know around the end of the year, which is October for me. That's when I like to get in and get a lot of things all deep cleaned. So yes, we're starting it out in the kitchen this time. Really wish you didn't push me away. I was willing to try long as it takes. I would never say we were a mistake, but fleeting romance doesn't a lifetime make. That initial play, all the goosebumps, those letters in my gut. Okay, so y'all, I love, love a clean, shiny glass top stove. And it came out so clean, y'all. I wanted to definitely slow it down and let y'all get the gist of it and get the detail of this cleaning. And then when I cracked that oven, y'all, that's what made me say, oh, so you'll see a little bit later that we're going to go ahead and run this self-cleaning oven because we need to get this oven cleaned out. It is not clean inside of that oven. I don't know if you were able to see it, but I was able to see it when I'm looking back and I'm editing this video. Well, I actually saw it before that when I opened it up. So as I'm looking back and I'm editing and I'm doing my voiceover, I'm like, oh no, we're going to have to clean that oven. So you'll see that bit is coming up. y'all these cabinets these cabinets now we have white cabinets and i don't know if that's a disadvantage or an advantage but i do know that these white cabinets get pretty dirty especially above the 
microwave oven, which is above the stove or on the side of the stove, they get really bad because things splatter. My mom loves to fry things. So yes, <laughs> we actually just got us an air fryer. So I really hope that that helps out with it. But we really have to give these cabinets a good wipe down. And I try to wipe them down every time I'm doing a deep cleaning in the kitchen or doing a refresh in the kitchen. In this case, it's the end of the year cleaning. So I'm trying to get all of this done, y'all, so we can just have a nice fresh house for the new year. Y'all, this fridge gives me the business every time I clean it. I have tried to clean this fridge with so many different things and for some reason, it does not come clean. Now I'm able to just look at it and I can see how clean it is. I know the camera does not do it justice. The camera makes it look all shiny like it's really clean. It's not. This time I'm using the stainless steel cleaner. I think it's by Wyman's. I'm not sure. I have to look it up and let you know. But it worked for me when I had stainless steel, or stainless steel cleaner in the other house. But for some reason, nothing works on this stainless steel. So I'm a little curious. I wonder if it's if there if there's anything called not real stainless steel or um an illusion of stainless steel. I'm, I'm confused because I'm trying to understand why it does not get this refrigerator clean. I want it to be clean, y'all. Okay, so y'all, we're going to go ahead and run the oven. It's a self-cleaning oven. I know it's not going to get it as clean as I want it to be, but we're at least going to go ahead and run it and then we'll clean it out. Y'all, I changed this so many times. You'll get to see that it's not even going to stay like this. I changed it again. So, yeah, let me know what you think. 
Okay, so y'all, this is how the oven turned out. Oh my goodness, y'all. Not bad, right? Not bad for a self-cleaning oven. I mean, I still need to wipe it out, but it turned out really good. Yes. Okay. And it even got the racks pretty clean. Hmm. We don't need to work so hard, y'all. Just turn out self cleaning ovens on. They work. I'm impressed. Okay, so y'all, we're gonna go ahead and get it wiped out now. And I cannot wait for you to see how it turned out once it's all wiped down. Baby, I'm another kind. There's a reason we're here. There's a pop in the air that another you and me could deny. Well, I see how you stare up and down everywhere. I can tell you're far from shy. So let's talk. You're talking to me, oh, oh. So let's talk till we drop or till we get kicked out. Y'all, this oven, no, it is clean. You would think that it took me hours to get down there and scrub this oven, but it didn't. It was all self-clean. Okay, so y'all, we're gonna go ahead and get the refrigerator cleaned out. It is another day, y'all. So this is gonna be like a vlog style video that we're doing while we clean up the kitchen. Yeah, so let me turn this lighting down. It's a little too bright. Okay, that's better. So yes, we're gonna go ahead and clean out the refrigerator, y'all. This is what it's looking like. And it's just the refrigerator we're gonna clean out. Not gonna be anything major, so let's get it all cleaned out. Just for a while Cause baby I know it, you know it 
it, we know it. Deep inside, we do addicted to friction to change our minds. We're so in love, but babe, it's not enough to survive. Cause it's your way, love, love, love. That makes us do all the stupid shit that we do. All of the stupid shit that we do. No, it ain't love, love, love. That makes us do. Okay, y'all, so this is everything that came out of the refrigerator. I didn't take everything off the doors because there's no need to do that. We'll just wipe those down and get those cleaned off. Cause it's just a quick refrigerator clean out. There's nothing major. Y'all know I can be <laughs> very extreme, but I'm not gonna be very extreme today cause we're gonna go ahead and finish this up. So y'all, you see here that the fridge is not that bad. So that's why I didn't take the things off of the doors because they, it really is not bad at all. So we're gonna go ahead and just get it wiped down real good and get these little areas cleaned out and make sure we just put back in here the things that we need to put back in the fridge. But yes, it just needs a good wiping down. Even the drawers are not that bad. So I'm not even gonna take those out. And you know, normally I take those out. So yes, let's get started, y'all. So y'all, this is a good way to go ahead and get your fridge all cleaned out. The fridge wasn't bad at all, and that's because it was just cleaned out. Probably really, really deep cleaned a month ago. So it's coming up to the time where we're gonna be doing our grocery shopping again. So it was very easy to go ahead and get it cleaned out. So now you can see everything that you need when you go to the grocery store, and we're gonna go ahead and get everything put back into the refrigerator, y'all. Don't wanna take it slow. Just wanna let you know Ready to spend some time I wanna spend some time Needed some time to grow Just wanna let you know Ready to spend some time I wanna spend some time Ready to talk, baby Can be your rock, baby Please come and sit with me Or take a walk with me I need to speak to you Just wanna be with you Just let me take you for a ride is there a chance that we could make another try? I think we meant to be, didn't wanna say goodbye. If there's a chance, just tell me how. Cause time is precious, time is now. Don't wanna take it slow. Just wanna let you know. Ready to spend some time. I wanna spend some time. Needed some time to grow. Just wanna let you know. Ready to spend some time. I wanna spend some time. Baby, I was too blind to see what you meant to me. They think you can't forgive, they didn't know how to live. That's 
Okay, so y'all, we have moved over to the pantry. We're gonna go ahead and get this pantry all cleaned and organized and decluttered. So we're gonna be getting rid of some things. So let's go ahead and get this portion of the video done. Go back and do things right. Give you a wedding ring, give you my everything. Be there by your side. Share a life and have a child. Okay, so y'all, this is everything that came out of the pantry. It's different. It's in different spots in the kitchen, y'all. So this is what's on the floor. This is what's on the stove. In the counter. Last but not least, this is what's on the counter over here. So yes, as you can see, it's a lot of stuff that fits into that pantry. And now we have to go ahead and get it cleaned out. This is what it's looking like in the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and get that cleaned out. We're gonna try to do some organization. If you can tell here, it may not look like it's dirty, but see these little racks here, they get pretty bad. So yes, we have to clean these racks as well. I tried to get in close so y'all can see them, but let's go ahead and finish this up, y'all. By the way you stare, the way you wrote up for me, yeah, yeah. Man, I felt your energy. Wasn't used to being loved and treated differently, yeah. But something went wrong, the signals got crossed, and now we're on completely different pages. Let's go where we were, when no one gets hurt. Baby, keep it right there. Trying to pick the pace up, we should take it slow. Baby, keep your focus, don't you make me change my mind. If you love me, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. Baby, don't you, baby, don't you, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. Baby, don't you, baby, don't you, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. Will you take me on a trip? Always up and down and back and forth in mad. Okay, so y'all, I get it. I know. We love snacks around here. Yes, we love chips. We love cookies. All of that. I know. I mean, my mom and I are working on it slowly. But, <laughs> y'all, I really, really want to eat healthier. My mom does too, I think. But you know, my mom is like, she's gonna eat what she wanna eat. You know, she's been eating what she wanna eat for all these years, so she's gonna eat what she wants to eat. However, myself, I am trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I just wanna get it right. But when you go left, I'm stuck here feeling left behind. Cause something went wrong, the signals got crossed. When no one gets hurt Baby, keep it right there Don't you stress the flow You're trying to pick the pace up We should take it slow Baby 
Okay, so y'all, we have finally gotten everything put back into the pantry. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and get these bags all put in one bag because, yes, y'all know my mom saves every bag. However, I have started reusing those bags as far as using those in the garbage cans. Y'all know my little bougie, but I used to <laughs> I used to buy the bags for the garbage cans and for the trash cans in the bathrooms, but I stopped doing that. So we're going to be using these garbage bags, using those as garbage bags. And we're going to go ahead and get these all cleaned out and we're going to get these organized with the right things. And then we'll be finished with the pantry so yeah i really do hope that y'all are enjoying the video i know it's a long video and i really really do appreciate it. if you're still here y'all if you're still here you know you are the real real true ride or die for your girl because you still watching this video and it's pretty long so i really really do hope that you're enjoying it Okay, so y'all, we're going to go ahead and get my favorite teas filled in here. And I do love the Everyday Detox Tea. I don't do it often, but I do love that tea. I also do love the Peppermint Tea. And of course, y'all know that Jasmine Tea is my all-time favorite, which I have that every single morning. So yeah, I love these teas, y'all. Every time I go outside, I see your face. Wish you could be here right now. Lay here by my side. All day, all day, all day. Tell me it's gonna be all right. We gonna work it out. No way, no way, no way. The floor is cold. It chills my bones. Okay, so y'all, this is how the pantry turned out. Y'all, it looks so, so much better. I think I'm going to go ahead and replace these dark baskets for something that we can see through because we still don't know what's in there. And sometimes that's, that can be a problem when you're shopping and you don't want to buy double items. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the door all cleaned off because we haven't cleaned the door yet and get everything cleaned around it. And then we'll be all done with the pantry. Y'all. Company. I'm losing it, losing my way Only get through when it's you plus me I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry Honestly, can't you just call me? Where you at? Where'd you go, babe? Let me 
me fix my mistakes Wish you could be here right now Lay here by my side All day, all day, all day Tell me it's gonna be alright We gonna work it out No way, no way, no way, yeah The floor is cold Now the video is nearing the end Thank you so much for joining me in today's video I have definitely, definitely enjoyed doing this video for y'all. We have so many things that we got covered in this video. So I do hope that it gives you the motivation to get up and get some things done around your home. Let's go ahead and start that decluttering before the end of the year. So we'll be all ready for the new year and get everything organized. We will be coming back to the kitchen, y'all, to get these cabinets all organized decluttered y'all i mean these cabinets need some work y'all so if you have not yet subscribed please go ahead and do so and don't forget to click that notification bell so you're notified each and every time i upload a new video you can also follow me over on instagram getting my life together 50 i would love to have you there as well i will see y'all in the next video bye y'all